In this video, we're going to spend a few minutes looking at the 5 Series B MSO user interface and some of the standard features that make it simple to operate and easy to master. The first thing we should talk about is menus. Rather than layering menus on top of each other, we have thoughtfully designed the placement of every user interface button, status readout, and measurement result. The 5 Series B MSO incorporates the touch gestures that we commonly use on our phones, tablets, and other consumer devices. Turning on a channel just takes one quick tap. And setting up the horizontal and vertical settings can be done with pinch and drag gestures on the screen, or the front panel buttons and knobs. When you need to add a measurement, it's just a drag and a drop onto the channel that you're interested in. And there are dozens of measurements available. Each one has a summary image and description to ensure that you're adding exactly what you need at that moment. When you only need the measurement to apply to a portion of the acquisition, you can use gating. Here we will gate so that only what is in between cursors is measured. Watch as we move the cursors and the measurement results update. And once you're done with a measurement or a channel, just swipe it away and it's gone. By default, channels are stacked separate from each other to maximize the dynamic range of the analog to digital converter. And they can be overlaid to make it easier to visualize how the signals might be related to one another. It looks like there's some crosstalk here Channel 2 is bleeding over into channel 1. Let's add a callout to document the conclusion that I have come to. We can customize this callout quite a bit. I'm going to draw a box, add text, change the color, and move things around. And when I save this screenshot or session file and come back to it later on my scope, another scope, or text scope on my computer, these extra details will help me remember exactly what was going on during this measurement. You can also increase the user interface font size for when you need to sit further away from the screen. Or you can decrease it for when you need to maximize the waveform viewing area. A searchable help directory loaded on the scope is just a click away to give you information and assistance right when you need it. 